What's going on guys? So we are out here at Bishop RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, taking a look at this Flagstaff Microlite. Now, if you've watched my channel for a while, you probably realized I'm a big fan of these Flagstaff travel trailers. I think that they have really good build qualities to them. They have a lot of really cool features, and I think you're gonna like this one, so I'll be right back. So taking a look at this FLT 25 FKS from Flagstaff, it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 6880, as well as a cargo capacity of 1,561 pounds, runs on 3,080 pound axles and derated tires. So this is at the extreme edge of half ton towable. I know a lot of times people are gonna say, well, you say 6,000 pounds is the max. No, 6,000 pounds is what I suggest. But if you have a truck with the max tow package and you feel comfortable doing it, then something you know right under 7,000 pounds isn't too far of a stretch in terms of what you can tow. This specific trailer is gonna have a total length of about 26 feet. Now, the reason why I like these micro lights is because they're constructed a little bit better than a lot of them in this size and price category. You get your frameless windows, you get a really nice front window here as well, regardless of which model you have. You can see several of them down the line here and they all have that front window. There could be different things on the other side of that, from a bed to a kitchen to a sofa, and they really do a good job of adding extra light to that front part of the coach. This has a front power jack, as well as compartments for two batteries, two large propane tanks. It has manual scissor jack style stabilization. Again, this is the 25 FKS. Going down the side here, it has a small outside kitchen, nothing huge, but in a lot of ways, I think people really appreciate these smaller kitchens. It has a nice micro refrigerator, as well as a cooktop and some storage up here. Coming around back, LED lights are standard. Here's your city water connections as well as LED clearance lights and it's pre-wired for a Furion backup camera with a ladder to go on top. Plus, you have a really, really cool spot here that can act as storage as well. So you simply pull this out and check that out. You got more storage in here. This is also where your cables are gonna be as well as your jacks and other accessories. Very thoughtful use of storage. Spare tire off to the back. Coming around this side, you have your 30 amp connection here, cable satellite connections. This specific coach comes with Castle Rock tires. They're the 226 series. And this runs on the Torflex suspension from Dexter. So it's an independent suspension system, and it is actually a good system for this type of travel trailer, but you do have to make sure that you're towing it level, simply because there's no equalization here. So if you put too much weight on the back, that weight's gonna go directly to the back tires. So you wanna make sure whatever hitch system you're using is set up properly so you're towing it level. You can see underneath here, it runs on rack and pinion slide, and this is a full length slide. So this thing extends out three feet versus some of these more compact travel trailers, which have like a two foot slide. Here are your dump areas. Coming around to this side, because of the relatively small nature of this specific trailer, it rides on eight inch I-beam frame. I do like the fact that they put this really long awning, which covers pretty much the entire park side of this travel trailer. So it's gonna give you a lot of good shade, especially when it's super hot outside. Another thing you'll probably notice is this door is just barely flapping and it is incredibly windy, probably 25 mile an hour winds right now. The reason being is because it's on a friction hinge, which means wherever you put the door is essentially where it's gonna stay, even though it's very, very windy outside right now. This does have the Moride step above system. We'll go ahead and climb into this travel trailer. I really like the lighter tones that they've put in here. Nice light flooring, nice neutral sofa, neutral cabinetry. The wood looks really nice. And what you'll notice is this is a front kitchen model. So you have a tremendous amount of cabinet space, countertop space, and storage up here as well. It gives you everything you're looking for, dual basin, stainless steel sink, as well as a stove and oven up in this area, and it's a good size stove and oven. It actually looks almost residential in nature, even though it's gonna be a little narrower. 
plus lots of storage. Flagstaff, they do a really good job of essentially making sure that any area where you could put storage has storage, as well as a nice microwave up top. This specific coach has a $27,900 asking price. You can see they put nice valances on everything. This is a fold-out sofa, so it actually turns into a bed. Nice 32-inch TV, freezer, refrigerator, fireplace, some storage above it as well. You also get storage above the TV, entertainment center. You have a charging station up here with USB and a standard 12-volt jack. It has a Coleman mock system for the air conditioning, and it is ducted. Going a little further back. You'll see in the bathroom area here, you have a really nice tall shower, porcelain toilet, as well as a lot of countertop space. It's a nice bathroom area, especially in a travel trailer this short. Coming back even further, queen size bed. You have about 13 to 14 inches on this side and about a foot on this side. Plus, you have a lot of nice cabinetry up top, a lot of good storage. It is a good size bedroom for a relatively short travel trailer. Coming up here, you can just see how open this area is right here. This is just a very nice compact travel trailer and I think a lot of people would really like this type of travel trailer simply because it gives you a lot of residential amenities and it feels very homey considering most of these kind of feel cramped and claustrophobic. I really like the interior of this travel trailer. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of this Flagstaff Microlite because I know a lot of people really enjoy this type and size of trailer. Plus, it's very easy to tow with a three-quarter ton truck, and this is a reasonable size even if you have a max tow package on a half-ton truck. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.